For over 20 years, Jamie Oliver has been sharing his passion for food with the world through his TV series, through his books, through his YouTube channel. Now he partners with Yes Chef to create his first online cookery course. I'm going to teach you what I've learned over the last 30 years as a cook. I've been working my way through the recipes to see what it's all about, what you might learn and if it's any good. In my full breakdown and honest reviews, I'll explain the pros and cons of this tutorial from the popular chef. I'm a long-standing fan of Jamie, but what do I think about this masterclass? So you've got Yes Chef, and if you squint a bit, it's like Masterclass had a wild affair with Chef's Table, and that's exactly where it came from. Founder Steve Avery unwrapped a Christmas gift of the Masterclass of Gordon Ramsay from his mum in 2017, but got disappointed after a while when he wasn't churning out Michelin quality food. Being an entrepreneur himself, he set about creating a series of classes that took different chefs and showed you their way of thinking, but combined it with that chef's table, cosy, chatty aesthetic. That's where Yes Chef came from. In August 2020, Yes Chef launches with the tagline, anyone can cook. Because let's face it, who wouldn't want a cook along with your favorite chef? Before I get started about me and Jamie, it's probably worth stopping a moment here to talk about it because it might influence what I'm saying here. Jamie's been around for about 24 years at time of recording, and his words, I've been on telly longer than I haven't been on telly. And I've been a fan pretty much the whole time. I'd argue no one else has done more to get British people in the kitchen, and particularly men, this century. Whatever you think about his style, politics, or personality, and I know he has his distractors. His recipes themselves are bulletproof. I hear it over and over again from different people that they just work. And they're very rarely route one. They're usually things you know, but then twisted so they're really interesting. And he just has this passion, this charisma that's magnetic. And you can see why when he was caught on camera at the River Cafe, they thought, hmm, let's make a TV show with this guy. This return has been on for about 15, 20 minutes now. Um, as you can see, it's boiling away quite smoothly. I was lucky enough to meet him at his Islington HQ in 2018, and he was just as charismatic in person. Totally happy to shoot the breeze. And we're from the same part of the world. Uh, what I'm saying is I'm predisposed to like him. Let's break this down episode by episode. Fresh pasta dough. I was not in the mood for this one at all. What am I going to learn about eggs and flour? Probably like most of you, I've made pasta by hand quite a few times. Always fun. Um, but what else is there to it? But you just get that injection of Jamie enthusiasm and how he's talking you through it, talking you through the process and saying, yeah, you can do this by machine, but, and he talks you through all those different options and explains why it's so important. Egg yolks, gonna give you a luxurious experience. He's clearly explained it a hundred times over and yet is still full of that same passion and enjoyment for just making pasta. His descriptions of how you can work with the dough, hydrate the dough and use it and how adding the eggs makes the difference, about how machines do it versus hands doing it, about the traditions in Italy, and about how you should feel good about doing it too. It's utterly captivating, and in true Jamie style, completely pluralist. He wants everyone to give this a go. This is not about him. And salads. Jamie is utterly obsessed with salads and being able to inject variety into something that's often viewed as very much a side salad or afterthought. He assembles piles of ingredients and invites you to explore different combinations and different ways to dress it with mother recipes that are very, very easy to replicate. If you've got a load of salad that's not dressed, guess what it's gonna taste like? <laughs> not very nice. Including all the things that he thinks people don't do quite right based on the feedback he's had. Pesto is another chapter that took me completely by surprise. What are we gonna learn about pesto exactly we haven't done before? But no, again, he assembles different combinations and explains both the history of pesto and how you can interrupt it with different nuts, cheese, oils, and make it completely different. And I learned something brand new in here I've not seen before, which is adding a boiled potato to your end pesto recipe, um, which is something I'll be trying for sure. We then get a chapter on a squash curry, which is reasonably fun by itself. It's gonna be fleshy and delicious. It will be an amazing carrier of flavors. The mean, most interesting part for me was his experiences working as staging uh, in an Indian restaurant himself. Quite an eye opener when a chef crosses cuisines and sees 
just how different the world is somewhere else. Then the chapter on smoked salmon sandwich. I did a sandwich like this and I gave it to my friends. This one took the piss. He spends nine minutes talking to his one of his mates about his smokehouse where he gets the salmon from and then he puts salmon in a piece of bread with a squeeze of lemon. I was fuming by the end of this one. I thought it was a complete waste of time. Not only is it not really a recipe, but I don't really understand what it's doing in a course that you pay money for. It's supposed to be built on the recipes. Principal bread though. Now you've got Jamie in his element. When he first left catering college, one of his first jobs was working with Gennaro Contado making bread. And the passion, knowledge, experience, and sheer love that he has absolutely shines through. And it's a bit technical, but not technical in a sciencey way, but just explaining to you what's happening here. Why are we needing it? Why does the yeast need sugar? What is the yeast doing? What are the flowers doing? Why do you rest it? All these things that in certain hands could go very geeky and very sort of white lab coat style explanation. But in Jamie, it's just like, yeah, this is what we're doing. It's dead easy. And you can't fault him for that. So this is the journey that the bread's going on, right? The yeast has got in there, woken up. So sound effects, that's what you get with me, along with the philosophy of bread. <laughs> Before I give you my opinion, let's break down every part of this course. From a technical perspective, it works really well. On the web browser, you get these steps and recipe notes that are very easy to follow with an ingredients list, of course. You also get little thumbnail steps that are really clever. They remind me of chapters in YouTube. You can also input direct feedback at a certain timestamp. So you could say, oh, I don't understand what he's saying here, or this bit doesn't work. Presumably that goes straight to the developers and they can then collect all that feedback and do stuff with it. I think that's a really good move. You get captions, always a must I find with any video, it must be included. And you can cast natively from the browser so that you can project it to a larger screen that you prefer. The music is both too loud and, and frankly a bit eye-rolling in how lifestyle it is. And whilst he has a lovely house, a very well-known stately home in Essex um, that he's purchased, we see an awful lot of footage of him with his dog and him playing the piano, which is not quite what we paid for. The pricing, as with all these masterclasses, is really cumbersome and quite expensive, frankly, with a number of tiers that personally I found very difficult to decide between with slightly different video quality, plus the claim that on the lower tier you don't get any PDFs, but I was able to access them from the lower tier, so I don't know if they've either changed their mind or it just doesn't work. So at the time of recording, there are 10, rest, 10 sections of the Jamie Oliver course available, with about the same amount again coming up, although looking ahead at the subjects, I can see one that's Jamie's story, which again is all well and good, but I don't know that we need it in this sort of course. So what we have is a chef that's been not hiding in the kitchen for 20 plus years, but he's been very public. He's been on TV, he's been baking books, he's been on YouTube, he does celebrity endorsements here, there and everywhere. He's not a face you can ignore, whether it's doing food campaigning or whether it's making recipes. So therefore, you've got a stack of 2000 plus YouTube videos on his own channel, let alone guest appearances he's made on other channels. He's got 40 plus TV shows that are freely available in the UK, generally speaking, and, and worldwide syndication, and 30 odd books that he's put out into the world, all with different emphases and ideas. And therefore, a lot of it is deja vu. When I watched the salad section, I thought, this is really good, but I've definitely watched this before. And sure enough, he has a salad video on his YouTube channel that's basically the same and, and covers much of the same ground. And I'll be amazed if you can't go and find more videos of Jamie making bread or making pasta. And those three really were the big three um, chapters that I found the most interesting. And yet it's all there out in the world somewhere, whether it's in one book or another, that he's got so much material out in the world that it's hard to see why you would pay for it when the vast majority of it is available. Now I'm aware that there are many other chefs in this Yes Chef course, but I'm gonna be honest, I've not heard of any of the others. That's not a disrespect to any of them, but clearly Yes Chef are gonna be selling this package of courses with Jamie as the figurehead, because he's the well-known one. And as a Jamie fan, even I think, eh, I don't think this is worth the money. All of this content is available elsewhere, I think. It'd be nice as a gift for someone. A nice, well-presented, really well-made series of videos that are self-contained and you can go back to with notes. But 
If you're just looking for a few fun recipes with Jamie Oliver, you can get them in many, many places. If that was of use to you, please hit the like button or perhaps even hit share and send it along in a WhatsApp message to someone you know who likes Jamie Oliver. Hit subscribe and that makes enormous difference to growing the channel. So thanks very much. See you next time.